Hi guys, so my last um, makeup tutorial for the spring didn't upload yesterday. So today I'm going to do it. Um, I've already done my foundation and my concealer and my powder foundation, which um, I put on my concealer first, which was the Rimmel London, um, the Hide the Blemish Concealer, and that was new, I think, I don't know when, but it was new this week. And then I got, and then I put on my, um, my foundation, which is by Revlon, Color Stay With, in, in the color media beige number 250, and it stays on for 24 hours. And also, I put on my Rimmel London Stay Matte Long Lasting Pressed Powder, which is really good, and it's in the color Creamy Natural and number 11, which is pretty good. Um, so now we are going to go on to the eyeshadow, which I'm going to use this Hard Candy Style Single and Loving It. Sorry, that is a style I can read today. In, um, in the number 513, 513, and it's called Fancy 3. So yeah, I can't speak today. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> so I'm going to put it on the base of the eyelid, and then I'm going to add another coat to it. And I don't have to tap my brush every time I put it into the eyeshadow. Um, this is what the eyeshadow looks like. Um, I don't have to tap it because for some weird reason these brushes don't need that. And there's not much loose eyeshadow powder in there. So um, as you can see I have them on my lid. Um, and now I'm going to take one of my color workshop palettes. And I'm going to take my flat brush, my, flash, my flat eyeshadow brush again. And I'm going to take this color right here. And I'm going to put that on the base of my lid. A difference right there, kind of, so that you may not be able to see it on the camera. So I'll just add one more layer just for you guys. Do that to the other eye. So now we have that done, um, I don't put on eyeliner because it goes too thick on my eyes and I've like tried so hard to make it go as thin as it can go and it just, I don't have steady hands to do that and um, yeah, so that kind of sucks for me. Um, I was going to try to find my pencil eyeliner but apparently it got stolen. So now I'm going 
to go on to my blush. And this is by Color Workshop again. And I'm going to take the light pink one right here. On the top, it's that one right there. I'm going to take it and I'm going to tap it because I don't need a whole bunch of this smile. I'm going to put it on my, the apples of my teeth. And then I'm going like, to go like this with my hand. And it gives it that kind of effect. So it's kind of different. other cheek. Sorry, I just dropped my, um, the palette that has the blush in it. I'm gonna make this even. Much better, I guess. I go on to my contour. I'm going to take this blush, and it's sun, and it's called Sunkissed, and it's by Ulta. And I'm going to take my angled blusher brush, and I'm going to just take that, tap it, and go like this. So it has a kind of effect now. So there we have that. So I'm kind of looking in the mirror at the camera. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my mascara. Going to put it on the top lash. I've already done my bottom lashes, and I'll tell you in a minute what the bottom lash mascara is by. But this one is by Ramel London. It's the Mouth Volume Flash Waterproof Mascara. So I'm just going to put that on the top lashes, and sometimes it gets on my eyelids for some weird reason. So I'll get that in a minute. Okay, so we have the top lashes now done. Um, not stick off the mascara that got onto our eyelids. <laughs> if you have the same problem as me, like this down below. Yeah. And so, for my bottom lashes, I did the um, Maybelline New York, the Falsies Big Eyes Lashes. And I used the little lash brush for my lower eyelashes. I did the tiny little brush. And so yeah, I begged my mom for this actually. Okay, and so now we are going to go onto a different color workshop palette. And I'm going to take my eye blending brush, which is actually just for like yeah, for different things like that. I'm going to take the white. I'm going to just fill it around. 
going to take this white one right here and I'm going to put that on my inner corner. Um, this helps you look more awake. Eyeshadow Quad by Ulta, and I'm going to take the color Bone, which is the the peachy color, like the skin tone color, like a nude color, you know. And I'm going to take my blending brush again. I'm going to take up all of the excess eyeshadow from the last one, and I'm going to take Bone, and I'm going to tap. I'm going to put it on the brow bone as a highlight. That way it looks like, you know, that, that I guess. <laughs> you do that to the other eye. Lips. Just like that. And this is actually a really good thing to do if you have chapped lips is to put on some lip balm or some chapstick before you put on your lipstick. Um, I'm going to take the CoverGirls Lip Lip Perfection Jumbo Gloss Balm and it's in the number 210. I don't know what the color is. I think it's like Lily something. I don't know. But I got this one time um, for a character in a movie called The Mortal Instrument City of Bones. And um, I wanted to play, I wanted to do um, Clary Fair. Clary Frey for Halloween, and so this is like the lip color for her. So I did it. But it also goes like a really good spring color. Or either that, or you could take a peachy coralish lip gloss and you could put that on too. That'd go great for the spring and summer too. Um, we might do some summer video sometime around summer. Um, that's clearly all what I have to do for this tutorial. Um, I want you guys to try it. Um, it looks very nice. I actually like it, and I actually will do this for spring. I actually did this for spring pictures for school. It looks really nice, so I might do this all spring long. So, um, comment down below what you want me to do for the next video. Um, that'd be great, and um, thank you. And this is like my second video, so if it's horrible, yeah, thank you. Thank you for telling me it's horrible, but no. If it's horrible, then tell me what I can do to fix it. The problem. Thank you. Bye.